catch the wave of success. Okay, we're going to be talking this morning about uh, sales commissions and, and really this emerging marketplace. One of the things that, you know, it's a pain point that we've all lived with and we're looking to, you know, provide this as an opportunity because frankly, we're all about making money, right? And we want to make sure you're successful, that you provide a unique strategy for your clients and your community. And so what we've aligned up today is a number of people that can help us with that, okay? So my name is Steve Peterson. I'm with Sellerstone, which is now the parent company of WebKPI, Q Commission, Easy Commission, and Q Exchange. With us today is Gopi Mattel, who's the CEO. Uh, Pete Bornstein, who's a pro advisor, okay? He's gonna be talking about our Q Exchange, uh, answering questions there, and his experience so far, and Joe Lindsay, who is responsible for our partner program. So by the end of this, presentation, we not only want to educate you on what the opportunity is, but how to get going in, into this uh, great solution. So, uh, and we're going to make this very interactive. I want to have a lot of fun. Um, so, you know, I have a mic. I'll, I'll, in fact, I'll start out there now. Okay. So, welcome. Um, if, if any of you have been to our booth, you maybe have learned a little bit. And by the way, the slides we're going to be going through today are all available on the Woodard uh, network. We made it available to him. So. I'm not going to read these things to you. I don't I hate that when it happens to me. So I want to make it as interactive as possible. But here's the objective. I'm going to talk initially about sales compensation marketplace, the product introductions. I'll just touch on it briefly. And then we're going to go into the Sellerstone partner program. Okay. All right, catching the wave. It means a lot of things to a lot of people. But frankly, we thought it was a great theme for what we're trying to educate here. I mean, there are different versions. You can show up like this lab after the wave is already out or hoping maybe for the next big wave. Uh, but, uh, you know, and he's, but also he's trying to surf. But what we're talking about is, you know, really the sales compensation marketplace is an emerging, I mean, the, one of the things that we learned as we started talking as between our two companies is how big of a marketplace it is. Okay, and there are a lot of already big players in the space. But as you see here at the conference, we're the only commission product on the floor. I mean, you have a lot of other timesheets and, and all sorts of other billing and payables and all that other stuff here. But uh, Q Exchange and Q Commissions are really the only products out there that address uh, the commissions. And, and frankly, what, what's our competition? It's Excel. Okay, so, you know, one of the questions I constantly get asked is, well, who's your customer? And I frankly go, it's anybody who uses Excel. Okay, and that's what we want to target. Okay. So here's an important stat. If you look in the red, I, I mean, you can read all that if you want, but this is from a quote from a company CEO who said there are over 10 million salespeople in the US, and yet only 600,000 are being covered by uh, any kind of an automated sales commission program. So does that give you, a, in terms of scope, in terms of really what this market is, is looking at? And you know, frankly, if we ask the right questions, we should help everybody identify those clients. Okay, and one of the things that, uh, you know, I've addressed with some of the people here already is there's 65,000 pro advisors out there. How do you establish yourself to be unique? Right, hang that shingle out, okay? Great example is in Boston, and this is a true story, a lot of dentists, right? There are dentists all over the place. So one of the things about dentists is how do you break out? So one dentist came up with a clever idea and wrote a manual, a 10-page guide on a healthy mouth entitled it, A Healthy Mouth Leads to a Better Sex Life. Okay? <laughs> 10 million, uh, over a million downloads of her book. Okay, well now she's a recognized figure in the Boston market, right? So again, this is a very simple example, but it's a, an example that you can use even as you think about your own community and your marketplace and establishing yourself as a commission expert, okay? So what are the pain points? Well, first pain point, Excel. I mean, you know, many of us in the room, I know some of us in the room have also used Lotus 1, 2, 3, right? You remember those days, right? What's that? Quattro Pro. Quattro Pro, I remember that as well. Um, so Excel kind of happened. And now Excel's become this product that everybody uses for manufacturing, production, for information management, to BI, to everything. And the reality is it's, it stretched its borders, okay? It's an effective tool until the minute you put somebody else into Excel, right? The error rate climbs over 30% with the second user on the same spreadsheet, 
We've all know that, okay? So think about all of those sales commission tools that are tracking in Excel, okay? Second thing is, sometimes sales commission plans become complex, okay? So we're in a situation where, you know, you, you know they want to do this and that, and, you know, they don't even know what the heck they're doing, and it has a, a material impact on their financials of the business. And then finally, it's the one person in accounting who's left doing all this, right? Not even the CFO wants to deal with it, it's go see Susan, she's got it. She's got your commissions, right? So you got this, you create this great divide in an organization where you have salespeople wanting to know why they're not getting paid timely. You have this one person stuck with an Excel spreadsheet that was written probably before her, and she's having to produce all these statements and do it accurately as best she can. Okay, and as we also know, those positions tend to turn over a lot as well. Um, we had a, a case study where we're working with a client where they, how many turnovers have they had, Gopi, in terms of the sales commission reps? Uh, uh, sales sales admin, yeah, it's one of the most common problems we find is that sales commission administrators constantly keep changing. They're just so frustrated getting called by the salespeople and being yelled at. So we had a customer, the same customer, changing commission administrators like three times. And then once we automate it, then they decided to stick around. Yeah. So yeah, it's it's a major pain point. And frankly, there's a lot of knowledge in that one person in terms of how all these spreadsheets link and work and, and etc. Okay. So here what pain point leads to. What happens is salespeople adjust. Right, Joe? You know, what happens when you tell me in your work, Joe's been a sales commission rep for many years. Tell us what, you, what you've experienced when you feel like your commissions are not being calculated properly. Well, even if it's not that you feel like they're not being calculated, um, unless you've got something where you can see it as you're going along, you're keeping your own set of books to see where you're at. And, and then you're always comparing with whatever they're producing on a monthly basis. So it's, it takes a lot of time. You know, you can, you can eat up 10 or 15% of your time just trying to track where you are. So here's another pain point, is the complex plans, okay? You know, how many times do you, the sales team puts together a goal, we're gonna sell the next more product of why, and the reality is they have no idea what the commission impact is, and whether or not even by increasing their sales goals on one of those numbers is that they're gonna have the desired goal, right? Remember, sales compensation is about driving results, right? You incentivize to get change behavior. If product A is really hot, you start promoting it with heavy discounts and promotions, et cetera, okay? Well, these factors alone leave you a confused sales force. And I'm telling you, nine times out of the 10, the CFO is gonna lose the argument with the COO to the sales guys when they're complaining and bitching about the quality of what's going on, right? It's always accounting's fault. It's not the sales department's fault, right? Have we felt that? I mean, how many, how many hands in the room have seen that experience? <laughs> yeah, we're, we're you know, we're like the people that the war has happened and we're out there counting the wounded, right? The reality is, is the focus, it's an easy shift. It's, sell, it's accounting who's responsible. Or, I'm sorry, accounting wasn't knocking on the client's doors or promising X. We're there to account for it and relay the truth, okay? So what happens is you get unhappy reps, okay, who, who look at this and say, I'm gonna blame everybody, I'm having, I don't have trust in accounting, etc." cetera. Here comes the opportunity. It's a great way for you to talk to your customers about taking the, helping them manage this crisis, okay, and automating and finding a permanent solution. And frankly, the salespeople alone will say, let's sign up. You know, let's remove the pain, let's build the confidence in our team. So here's some quickly some best practices that we've seen and, and, and relay to our group, okay? You know, if you have an effective sales compensation system, you can drive better results in the company, right? Because then the trust factor is raised, okay? Providing timely reports is huge. Let's face it, how many companies, clients even use now web-based reporting for information to the sales team? Everybody's running around with iPads, right? And droid devices, et cetera. You know, we, people have to, sales reps have to be transparent to the technology. They're out there in the field, okay? Providing accountability, audibility, is an important mm -hmm. issue when we look at this. So I'm going to switch gears quickly and I, in, in 30 seconds I'm going to tell you about just so you know what our product suite includes. I'm not going to, again, these are all in the deck and if you need brochures you can come and visit us, okay? 
but we have Easy Commission, which is our entry level commission product. All this connects to QuickBooks. Okay, we have Easy Commission, Q Commission. We're going to take you into the product. Gobi will we'll show and answer your questions. Web KPI, which is the dashboarding uh, tool. Okay, and Q Exchange. Okay, so what I'd like to do next is let's let's talk about uh, <coughs> connectivity. How many in the room have con uh, accounting software that's not QuickBooks? Do they work with anybody none? What is that? Systems, or not, sorry, not ProSystems, it's um, Proven Solutions. Proven Solutions, I haven't even heard of it. Have we heard of Proven Solutions? Yeah, the, yeah. the lady over there does too, right? Yeah, we work with Mass 90, Mass 90, et cetera. Okay. You're yeah, right. And so remember, we're here to make money, right? So one of the things that's very important is being able to connect to tools that are not QuickBooks so you can get the data out, okay? So here's a map of some of the applications that we've done. Now, Pete, we introduced to QExchange about a month ago, okay? And so one of the things that we're looking at is, Pete, why don't you share with us your experience in, in using uh, QExchange? Let me, let me tell you first where I come from. Mm -hmm. uh, I do business systems integration, and uh, I, I integrate my object or my goal is to integrate business seam seamlessly or integrate applications seamlessly with QuickBooks. That means eliminating two things or reducing two things. One is intermediate files, the other is manual efforts. Uh, and QExchange, uh, I see a lot of synergy in the merger between uh, 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 Sellerstone and Web KPI. Because Web KPI as a standalone product is, is uh, super in the way it presents dashboards. But uh, by teaming up with Sellerstone's Q Exchange, the uploads are much more, the uploads to the dashboard from all of uh, everything in that hub, including QuickBooks, is much more, is much faster, first of all, much more robust and much more uh, flexible in terms of the data that you can access. And, and just, I'll say one more thing, and that is uh, I, I, I see the Q Exchange as a vehicle that goes far beyond the uh, merger between uh, uh, Q Exchange and Web KPI because uh, I deal with a lot of wineries, I deal with a lot of uh, uh, wholesale distribution and manufacturers, and they uh, they have many needs to merge uh, data from many many sources uh, into QuickBooks, Oracle, and so forth. And Pete, you know, tell us a little bit about your QuickBooks Online to QuickBooks experience as well. Yeah, now that that's one area that I'm really excited about, and that is uh, I, I don't know how many of you have tried to convert QuickBooks Online uh, to uh, QuickBooks Desktop, mm -hmm. and have, have you had problems? Yes. Absolutely. 90% uh, of the time you'll fail. And I don't know if that's uh, in, in, uh, into its plan because, of course, <laughs> if, if you listen to Jill Ward, you know, uh, she, she came back a little bit yesterday and she said that uh, uh, there will be, uh, Desktop will be around for a long time. But I think, uh, there are a lot of people that need to go from QuickBooks Online to desktop uh, because in the current world, uh, QuickBooks Desktop is much more powerful and has much more functionality than QuickBooks Online has. So I see, uh, uh, the, I, I see the ability to circumvent the problems that you're currently having with with what Intuit provides, because you can upload uh, quick anything, and quick you will be able to upload. They're, they're working right now. You can go from QuickBooks Online to Q Commission and Easy Commission with income, but you will be able to go to the full QuickBooks Online and bring anything you want into QuickBooks Desktop. I know, I know you told me one last question. Now. You told me about your experience in using the Q Exchange on your own, where you used some sample data. How long did it take you to, to work? Uh, so you the had the first time, first of all, I, uh, 
I, I credit Gopi and his team because uh, they, they sent me the download of a trial of Q Exchange about uh, two and a half weeks ago. It took me 15 minutes to install it, and within the first hour I was using it. And what I was doing is I was drawing data out of QuickBooks and into Excel. Uh, and uh, I, uh, just as an aside, uh, I help a lot of wineries uh, bring data from their uh, website into that they are currently downloading to IIF files. And IIF files, again, are very problematic. And I'm converting the wineries over to uh, Excel, which can then be brought into QuickBooks via Transaction Pro Importer. If you haven't been to the Transaction Pro Importer booth here, take a look at it. It's powerful. Thank you. So, you know, what I'm going to quickly do, and I want to, I want to you know, uh, get Gopi's comments, but uh, on QExchange, um, you know, we have the ability to map between data points. And Gopi, why don't you tell us a little bit about what we're looking at here? Yeah, so one of the key connections between why we have QExchange is the need for sales commission solutions to access a lot of different systems. So a lot of times, commissions are paid on invoices. But we also find that companies want to start calculating commissions on an opportunity as soon as it closes. And that can come from a CRM system like Salesforce.com. So we actually integrate with Salesforce.com. We can bring in the opportunity, calculate the commission, show them that's what is due to them, and then wait until that opportunity gets invoiced or even paid for later on. So we have already a need to integrate with the multiple systems. And we wanted to expand and be able to access a much larger marketplace than just what QuickBooks provides and also be able to increase our engagement price because our engagement becomes limited by QuickBooks pricing, where some of these other solutions are much more expensive. So we ended up adding a lot of different uh, what we call data access plugins and we already have uh, Salesforce.com, Microsoft Dynamics, Great Plains, uh, Mass 500, Peach Tree, a uh, uh, number of other applications, uh, including data formats, ODBC connections, SQL Server connections, etc. So you can bring any of that data into sales commissions and calculate. But that also allowed us to forget commissions and just use any two of those uh, adapters or plugins. So we could now, if somebody comes to you and says, I'm growing out of QuickBooks, I still want you to help me with this, so take me to uh, Mass 90, take me to Great Plains, take me to any of those. Now you can help them pull the data out and put it in there. Or maybe they go from Peachtree to QuickBooks. You can do that. Or QuickBooks Online to QuickBooks Desktop. As a matter of fact, somebody came by yesterday and said three different customers had asked her to convert uh, from QuickBooks Online to QuickBooks Desktop. They were so frustrated. She charges them a flat fee of $3,000. She manually goes through that process and gets it loaded for them. And she was thrilled to know that we can connect to both and then pull and load it into QuickBooks desktop. So those are some of the use case scenarios that you see. You can also, many of your customers are going to start having websites, e-commerce sites, or they're, they're getting transactions charged through PayPal. How do you get it into QuickBooks? So we can take any flat file, any report, uh, any download and then load it into QuickBooks as customers, customer job, orders, estimates, invoices, payments, all of those. It's very important to note that, again, you know, the, the end goal today is how can you as practitioners make more money, right? And we don't want to limit you simply in your expertise world to QuickBooks. Okay, so here's a way that you can grow with your client list. And frankly, the strategy should be you go to your CPA accounting firms in your area, you become in effect the sales compensation analyst expert. And they're going to say to you, well, we have Great Plains customers, we have Sage customers, Salesforce customers. Because sales compensation plans could be driven on factors that appear in Salesforce, like number of leads, contacts, et cetera, right? That's not a problem, because now you have a tool that allows you to pull that data. And that's very important. One of the things that we had on the slide here is basically this is a drag and drop. So you identify the tables in the fields in the left column, you drag it over to the right column, and you establish your connection. Gopi, tell us about what some of the larger clients, the number of payee size uh, are for you know, the type of people getting into this. Yeah, so we started out definitely very much a 
QuickBooks uh, uh, partner, but we've been able to expand our opportunities because we've become one of those companies that can do all these other systems using QExchange. And most folks, when they look at a business process that they want to automate, they always say, oh, okay, I want to do sales commissions, but I use QuickBooks or I use Great Plains. Does your stuff work with ours? So we can right away say, yes, we can. So we ended up going from a lot of our customers, and you can think of the average insurance agency with 10 salespeople, or you know, almost 100% commissions, 90% of the expenses is a commission expense. That's who we're automating, and suddenly we're doing 1,000 rep companies. So we did, uh, in the last year, three different companies, Milwaukee Electric Tool, which is the, the red-colored drills that you see at Home Depot and Lowe's. Uh, we did uh, Hilron, the largest uh, hospital bed manufacturer in the U.S., and we also did uh, uh, Mobile Mini, uh, which is uh, they rent out job site uh, uh, construction units. And they're all in the thousands. And the deals are all $100,000 because of the size. So it kind of opens us up to be able to access any of them because we said, yeah, we know what, what it is about. Thank you. Can I add mm -hmm. just one thing? Uh, if you had two tools, two apps in your toolbox, uh, you would be able to convert any SQL database to any other SQL database, uh, no matter what it is. And those two tools are QExchange and Transaction Pro Importer. Mm -hmm. That's all you need. And you can go to your clients and you can say, tell me where you want to come from and tell me where you want to go. It, it's a, it, thank you, Pete. That's a, a, excellent. In fact, it, it follows a question that we were playing with. That this is a, how we're an exciting group we are, right? But last night we asked the question: What would be the top five things you would have in your quiver if you were starting your practice today? Okay, all the stuff that you see on the floor. Okay, and 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 Gopi, you share with us what some of your thoughts were. Yeah, I think uh, I was looking at it both as a partner, but also a possible end consumer. What do I want my advisor to be able to guide me through? And there are a few things, and this kind of expands more than what we are talking about here. Uh, one of them is this need to be able to interact and integrate with so many different data sources. We're looking at every, you know, there's a whole new field called marketing automation. The ability to continuously connect with your customer and bring them to a point of purchase. So how do I get the data in and out? So the, so the ability to be able to move data around is a fundamental and continuously required need forever. So there's always a lot of engagement. You start it, you're always going to be doing work with them. There are a number of other things I would like them to uh, be able to help me with. I want them to help me with uh, CRM, which is customer relationship management. I want to make money. I want to manage my customers. That is fundamental to my company. And I always want to look to my advisor and say, what do you think I should do? How will I get this into, uh, how will I accrue my, my uh, sales, et cetera? So that's one other application. The other thing I want help with is uh, payroll and HR. It's an incredible pain. Again, I want to just turn it over to somebody else. So again, it's a continuous engagement. I'm always looking, as a business person, I want to look for things that give me a lot of money on a repeated basis that are fairly horizontal. In other words, it should not be vertically constrained. Uh, for, uh, for example, there are four time, uh, time and billing vendors out there, and that's really two industries today. You know, staffing and professional services, and maybe a couple of other ones. Sales commissions is in 65 different industries. So any customer that comes in, insurance, mortgage, staffing, it doesn't matter. You can, you can say, yes, I know something about this. So that's another uh, uh, area that I would like to have uh, access to. Mm -hmm. um, and I think well, uh, we, frankly, a bill.com. Yeah. You'd be solving being the able accounting to, uh, process. Yeah, pay and being able to take money in. That's a, the other area that's continuous that I'd want to be helped with. But, and, and, and thank you, Kobe. I mean, it's, it goes to the issue we were talking about, though. How do you become the specialist? How do you become the dentist in Boston who really sings and has that area of expertise? Many, many at the, at the 65,000 are bookkeepers, general bookkeepers. Establish a specialty, and let's talk about what the reward is, okay? First off, what do you think the pain is in terms of processing commissions the current way in organizations? Can I get some examples or 
I mean, Diane, we had, you were mentioning a client the other day. How, many, how much time do they spend, or do you guys spend, doing commission calculation? Well, we probably spend about 60 hours a month. 60 hours a month. Uh, yeah. Amazing. Has anybody else been involved in sales commission calculation? Yeah, yes. We were just trying to set somebody up, and they, they wanted to calculate commissions on gross profit. Right. But they weren't tracking an in inventory, so. Okay. Do that. Okay. I'm sorry. Yeah. Interesting. So they were overpaying what they thought it was mentioned. Yeah, and those are dollars out the door. I mean, that's a, that's a hard cash expense, right? So now you're the business owner. You got this bleeding going on in your organization. What is it worth to you? you know, some of the discussions we've had this week with pro advisors is, well, what do you make for bookkeeping? And we're hearing, what was it? The one was 500 bucks for 20 hours a month or something like that. Uh, you know, right. you're not going to make, a, you're not going to get rich doing that, folks. I'm sorry, okay? But let's talk through, here's a, here's a game plan that we can take you into in terms of sales compensation and what you could expect. Okay, you put up your shingle, you say, I'm a sales commission expert. Okay, you go in, what's the first part of, of any engagement? A review. Give me your Excel spreadsheets. How much is that worth? Probably at least 2,000 bucks, okay? Very simple math, 2,000 bucks, a simple review. Go through the Excel spreadsheet, do a data map, figure out where things are, okay? What's the next part? Well, we're gonna implement, and we'll show you in a second, an easy commission or a Q commission, depending on the client's needs. It means you're setting up the plans, you're setting up the rates, you're setting up the exceptions, you're setting up, well, how much is that? Well, that could be an engagement. Gopi, what would you say a pro advisor would? Um, so we, our engagements on our side varies anywhere from about $3,000 to, you know, the average customer about fifteen dollars to $20,000, just a service portion alone. So if we partner with uh, pro advisors and they help to manage that process throughout, we expect that that initial implementation alone would be a four to five grand uh, expense for most customers. And it can vary, of course, based on size, et cetera. But again, we've had uh, deals, and a lot of our deals are about $20,000 in implementation costs up to $100,000. So there's a lot of money that, depending on the size of the company and how painful it is, that they're willing to spend. Again, many industries, it's almost 90% of their expense. Insurance, most of their payouts are to commissions. Mortgage, most of their payouts are to commissions. So a lot of them are just fully paying out uh, you know uh, their expenses of, as as commissions. 